Good morning, day 140. I'm going to lose track one of these days, but not today. So today it's cloudy and it's going to rain again, but I may be able to go out in between the raindrops and get a little bit done in the garden. We'll see how it goes. Still lots of things to do inside. Always lots of things to do inside. I'm a person, I create my own work. So, it keeps me busy. Keeps me from getting bored. How about you guys? Do you create your own work? Or are you bored a lot? I know that's a complaint of a lot of older people. They're bored. But, I'm pretty much content. I like to spend time alone and do my things at my own pace. So that doesn't bother me. Of course I do like to get out among people every now and then. Just for a change. But for the most part I'm happy in this little world I've created for myself. And the other day when we went to Costco, I was never happier to get into my own little world. <laughs> it was really crazy out there. Ah, well, you know, people have a lot of a lot of time working from home. And I know a lot of people do that now. So they're always out and about all hours of the day. It's not like it used to be. You know, you had your 9 to 5 people, and you had some people that worked an afternoon or an evening shift, but that's when I used to like to go places, when there was no traffic. When people were at home eating their dinner, after rush hour, or during the day when people worked in a, in, in a factory, or they worked in an office, wherever it was they worked, but now so many people work at home that they have time to run out and do this and run out and do that. As long as the work gets done, I know a lot of employers don't care about your hours as much as they used to. So, but it does make it more difficult to get around with all the traffic and all the people in the stores all the time. Plus that now you've got the the fact that people are starting to wake up and starting to actually stock up on things. So anyway, um, today I'm going to be staying home hopefully. I have to go out tomorrow. So I like to plan my trips out so I don't waste too much gasoline driving around here and driving around there. And I've always been that way where I don't make 20 trips to the store, you know, several times a week. Um, so this works out better for me to conserve gas because it's so, so expensive now to fill up. Well, anyway, um, I'll be back in a little while and we'll see what's for breakfast. Day 140. Day 140. I'm not having breakfast today. I'm having lunch. So Tom and I were out today looking for flowers. And I bought my flowers. They're really pretty. I got quite a few flowers. Even though it's gone up. And the nurseries are just crazy expensive. It's just you can't even buy much there. But... I wanted to go to the nursery because um, I needed to get some uh, mints. So I did end up finding some, and I like to get the different, the different mints. Anyway, uh, my onions are not done yet. I'm going to give those another couple days. And there's an egg in there too. But I am going to have a sandwich. So here's my rye bread still. That's last of a long time because the 
slices are so big. And then uh, this I'm going to have for dinner probably, but I still have a lot of cut up lettuce here that I want to use up. And I want mustard. Um, still didn't do anything with with that. I don't know. I might, I might not. Um, I think somewhere in here, yes, I have this mayo mustard. I'm going to have some of that. Some of my homemade seitan deli slices. And still doing the raisins. Dehydrating them in the refrigerator. But I had dehydrated these already in the dehydrator and then I just ended up putting them in here. So that's my experiment. Alright, so and in here I have some tea. I'm going to have that. And I think that's it. All right, I will meet you at the stove. Well, earlier today I cooked some basmati rice for dinner because I knew I was going away. So, but that's for a little later. Right now, I want to have a sandwich. So, I'm only going to have half a sandwich because it's already 3 o'clock and these are huge slices of bread. So, I mean this bread costs $3.99 but it's such a big loaf that, and it's so tasty. So sometimes you just pay a little more, that's all. Not that I like it, but it's the way it is. That's the world these days. Okay, so just going to cut that in half. And I do like butter on a sandwich. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And especially since this bread isn't that fresh anymore, I mean, it's still still very edible and very soft, but, you know, bread starts to dry out after a while. So, all right. And then I do like mayonnaise and mustard. Now this trying to figure out how to describe the taste of it. It's sort of, a, it's almost like a pork type flavor. It's not like a ham. It's not that salty. But it's more like a well-seasoned pork roast, for lack of a better term. But, you know, I don't care about that because it, it can taste totally different than meat, and I still like it. All right. So I'm planning on getting out my meat slicer and slicing this, but for now I'm just going to slice it with a knife. And then I'll slice up the rest later. Because of course with a meat slicer you have to clean it up then meat slicer I mean but this this deli meat really turned out good I, I really like it but I don't want to cut it too thick so I'm just going to work on it like this and even that's a little too thick but that's okay and now it really looks like roast beef so yeah, I would kind of say the taste is a combination of roast beef and pork, if that makes any sense. 
but considering I made it out of leftover pea salad, I think it's really good. So that's plenty. I don't like a whole lot of um, lunch meat, for lack of a better term, on my sandwich. Even when I ate meat, I didn't care for a whole big, thick thing of meat. But I am going to put some lettuce on here. Well, I decided, even though this is not really done yet, I would like a little bit of onion slices on my sandwich. And it doesn't matter if they're not quite done. But they're very pretty pink. So I'm just going to put a little bit of these onions on there. Pickled onions are really good, in my opinion. Let me taste one. Mm. Very good. All right. And a little bit of lettuce. Well, that's not lettuce, that's rice. And that was a white onion. I think with a sweet onion it would be even better, but this is delicious. Okay, there you go. My little buddies and their lettuce. Okay, so that's good for now. And I'm going to cut this in half again. There we have it, lunch, day 140. Oh, I forgot, so I wanted want to try later. this. All right, here we go. Hmm. That's really good. To me, this is as good as any deli meat sandwich. Very good taste. All right, Hello. I'll be back. Time for a coffee break. Thanks for coming over. Grab a cup of coffee and let's have a little chat. Cheers. So like I said, Tom and I went flower shopping today. We do that every year. We go to several different places and see what they have. He was looking for um, sun patients, which uh, are basically, um, oh, what do you call them? <laughs> Senior moments. Don't you love them? Anyway, it'll come to me. And I was looking for regular impatience and begonias because I have so much shade in the backyard. Those do well back there. If I plant anything else, it just usually doesn't work. So, and I don't have a whole lot of luck. I don't have a lot of experience starting flower seeds. And I never remember to start them early enough. I do okay with vegetable seeds. So it's something that uh, I have to kind of learn a little bit more about. So anyway, um, I picked up some seeds and then um, we went to Walmart, we went to Petiti's, and we went to, to Lowe's. Lowe's didn't have what we were looking for. Um, excuse me. Um, so we bought most of our things at Petiti's, which was very expensive. I mean, a little tiny 
cup of an herb, $4.99. So I didn't get a whole lot of them there. A little thing, same size thing of rosemary was $5.99. Ridiculous. But I don't have too much luck starting rosemary from seed, so I'm just going to keep trying. You know, I have the seeds, and um, but the rosemary, I usually do uh, buy a start of that. And last year, I had my rosemary was like this tall. And uh, I should have taken cuttings from it because I've done that before where you just take some cuttings and you take the little leaves off the bottom and just root them in water and they do real well. So there's several things this year that I want to take cuttings of and just put up in my plant room and um, try and save some more money. But I... <laughs> alarm time. We have the, the mailboxes for the street, even though it's a cul-de-sac. Everybody on the whole street and around the cul-de-sac comes there for uh, their mail. So every time, of course, that somebody stops for their mail, she has to let me know. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I don't think I spent, oh, I overspent on anything. Most of my plants I got at Mark's, and a half of a flat there is $6.99, which isn't that horrible, but it's gone up a lot. I remember when they were $4.99 just a couple years ago. But at Petiti's, a flat of flowers was $30. Really. So I think I did pretty well. At Mark's, I ended up spending $71, and I got geraniums, I got uh, uh, impatience, I got begonias, I got, what else did I get? Um, The New Guinea Impatience, or, or Sun Impatience, I got those. What else? I don't know, it was, it was quite a bit. And the Impatience and the Begonias was a full flat, one of each. So, but I have my backyard that I love to plant flowers in. So I plant quite a few flowers there. And those are actually flowers that my dogs won't disturb. Um, I planted zinnias last year in, you know, in some of the planters, and they decided they liked those, so they would pull them out and chew on them. But um, the impatience and the begonias, they don't seem to bother those, which is really good. And I've planted um, marigolds back there before, and they don't do well. They just kind of rot. I think the soil gets too wet back there and then uh, it doesn't dry out enough. Now they do great in the front. So I have two planters in the front that I might get some, you know, just one half flat of marigolds, but that's later. But in my front yard, I have a window box. It's a good size window box. So that, um, I need flowers for that. And I also have a, a an oval planter on my front porch that I put flowers in. So I love flowers. It's one of the things in life that I think if you can afford it, I think it's well worth it to spend the money if they bring you joy. And I'm not all about austerity or um, scarcity. You know, um, living within reason is what I'm all about. And like I said, this is the year of reasonable. Reasonable flowers and reasonable uh, edibles. And um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do this year. Um, so anyway, while we were at Walmart, I got, and I love elephant ears. I think they're so cool. And last year, before the, the prices went totally bananas, I bought several elephant ears, the different kinds. 
Now a couple of them did survive the winter because I brought them in and they've been under a grow light. They're still very tiny, but those will be fine. And my favorite elephant ear is the mojito. And that was really pretty last year. So, um, but a couple of them that I had planted um, died. You know, I didn't get to them in time. And a couple of them just kind of, the bulbs got slimy. So anyway, Walmart this year, usually they only have the one kind, the big ones. But this year they had the um, Diamond Head. And they actually did have Mojito too, but I already have Mojito, so I didn't need that. So this is supposed to be one bulb for $10.24. Now last year these were like $5 and something, so go figure. But there are three little bulbs in here. This says one bulb, but because they're small, they ended up putting three in here. And these you can actually overwinter them. You can either store them in, in, a, um, in a box somewhere where it doesn't freeze, or you can bring them in the house and then use them as a house plant. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to try and open this. Okay, now these bulbs are pretty small, but that's all right. This one actually is starting to sprout, and there's three bulbs. One is a really tiny bulb, um, and then there's this one. And you have to make sure you don't plant them on their heads, but... As you can see, um, well, this one's a little hard to tell, but this is the top that's starting to sprout too, and then this is the root down here. And they do multiply, which is nice. And then I have this one, which is also starting to sprout, which is really nice. So I have to get these into a pot ASAP. So anyway, I got three of those, I mean one package. And it says one bulb for $10.24. But that's okay. And these are for full sun and part shade. And these will actually grow in, like if you have a shallow pond, they love water. So, and it says to plant through 415 through 531. So, you know, I'll wait another week or so. I'll plant them indoors and then um, I'll put them outside. So I got those and then I got a bunch of seeds again because those are going crazy. Um, I got these at the nursery because uh, you can't buy these Renee's Garden just everywhere anywhere so I got four of these and I got these two are different cut and come again lettuces and I wanted to try these in my little hydroponic gardens so I got two of those and these were actually um, this one was $3.99 which isn't cheap and this one was um, $2.89. Now, of course, they're always more expensive in Canada, but yeah, so I'm going to try and grow these inside. I may use some outside, I'm not sure. And then I got this baby leaf spinach. This was $2.99, and again, I'll try these in my little indoor garden, um, or maybe put them under the greenhouse. And then I got heirloom Italian arugula. I really like arugula. So it's really good with balsamic dressing and if you put put it in the dressing and then stick it on a burger, it's really good. So this was what I was really looking for and I did get this. Where did I get this? Oh, I got one more Renee's Garden and this is organic and it's a jade gem and it's a container lettuce. And this one was also $3.99. So I did spend a, a bit on seeds. And then um, I can't 
can't remember where I bought this one, but I was looking for the Lolo Rosa. Um, there's a fellow that I watch on YouTube. Um, it's called Arrow Garden Experiments. And he got like five or more harvestings of this particular lettuce in his arrow garden. I mean, like every week he was cutting leaves off the Lola Rosa. So um, I picked some of that up. I do have some of this, but the seeds are old. So, And I've been finding that my seeds that are older are not germinating so well. And um, I know you can put them on a paper towel and see how many germinate, but when you're planting in the arrow garden, um, you don't want to plant too many in each pod, but, um, so anyway, I wanted fresh seeds, and I don't remember how much this one was. Oh, $1.99, so that wasn't too bad. And then I got, um, these were from Walmart, uh, microgreens. This one was $1.96. Both of them were $1.96. This is a rainbow mix, and this one is a mild mix. And I'm going to save this for winter time, and uh, because microgreens are, are very nutritious. So I got those and only a couple more. I like fennel. Uh, my mom likes fennel. I've tried to grow this before without too much luck, but um, it's the fennel bulb. So I'm going to try again to plant this, and we'll see what happens. And this particular one was $1.96. And then I've never seen these before. Black Spanish radishes. And I know they look like beets. So I'm really kind of curious how they taste and how they look. Because, like I said, to me, these look like a beet, but it says radish. So anyway, that's what I got. And then I got the flowers, but I'm not going to start planting the flowers until probably not this coming weekend, but the following week. Um, it's still cold and rainy here. I mean, they would probably be all right, but, you know, you put all that work into seeds and seedlings and gardening, and you don't want to kill them. So I did put my tomatoes out in my little greenhouse. I think they'll be all right out there because they, even with the grow light, they're starting to get leggy, which is okay for tomatoes because you're supposed to plant those really deep and they'll develop roots. So... But, uh, so they're living out there now. I, you know, if it gets really cold, I'll bring them in again. And then I also put all my flowers out in the little greenhouses. But I'm leaving them open for now. Um, if the temperature gets too cold, then I'll zip them up. So anyway, that was my adventure today. It was definitely not a no-spend day. But every year, my garden just gives me a lot of pleasure. So, um, you know, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So, okay, um, I will be back with some dinner in a little while. And we'll see what I come up with. Okay, it's dinner time, day 140. Let's see what's for dinner. Okay, I still have this salad and that needs to be eaten. And guess what's in here? Little tiny bit of pea salad. So I want to finish that up. And I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it for now. 
All right, I will meet you at the stove. All right, well, I'm going to make a salad first. Because I do want to use up the lettuce that I have. And I have some left. So that's going to be part of my dinner. So one romaine lettuce less. I still have two that have to be eaten up, but they're still in good shape, so I will eat those some other time. I have a mini pepper. I still have a few of those. And these veggies, not the salad, but the rest of the veggies are all from the um, produce box, the Markdown produce box that I got a while ago. So I'm really happy with the length of time that, um, that it stayed good. So I'm going to have some peppers with this. And then I still have plenty left for several more meals, which makes me happy. Less money for them, more money for me. And that's always a good thing. All right, the puppies want some lettuce. So there's one for you, and you, and one for you. All right, they do like their lettuce. All right, and then I have some onion tops from the onion I found sprouted in my onion bin. So that's going in the salad as well. And then earlier today, I cooked some rice and I cooked enough for a couple meals so that I can make a stir fry. I'm not going to use all the onion. That would be too much. All right, I grated some carrot here too. So in that goes. Onion. And I always use even the tops of the peppers. It goes in. All right. Um, and then I still have some celery. It's still in decent shape, and I bought this probably maybe three weeks ago. I don't know exactly, but it's still in decent shape. There's a couple of leaves here that are starting to turn. Those I'm going to get rid of because otherwise it'll rot the whole celery thing. So this needs to be eaten up soon, but it's still perfectly good. But once it gets to the point where some of the leaves start turning, it's time to do something with it. But for now, I'm taking one stalk. That's going for the worms. They're having some banana and a little carrot. Alright, so within the next day or two, I'm going to have to probably either freeze this or dehydrate it, but I have some peppers that I need to dehydrate too. So, I have a little celery. I like celery in a salad. I think I like the crunch of it. There we go. That's 
looking like a very pretty, very pretty salad. All right. Um, I want to put some pepitas on there. And these are salted pepitas. They make a nice crunch on a salad, too. Okay. And then I have an egg for a little protein. And it's been raining here all day. I did take a little walk out in my garden. Nothing much happening out there. My uh, cannas are starting to come up. I did plant those oh, a few days ago. And then, of course, we had a frost, so it did damage the, the little shoots that were coming up, but they'll be fine. It didn't damage it to the point where the whole plant froze. So I'm glad about that, because I get kind of tired of doing work, and having the weather destroy it. So, okay, there is my salad for today. And, like I said, I cooked rice earlier. So I'm going to have some rice, and this is basmati rice that I seasoned enough for a couple meals. I like this rice because it doesn't uh, doesn't clump up like some, you know, it's not a sticky rice. So it's it's nice for reheating. But it is more expensive. So and then what I'm going to do I'm going to top it with this, my pea salad, and then I'm going to heat it up. So, and if you want to see how I made the pea salad, I think that was on one day, day 136 maybe. So I'm going to heat this up and I'll be back. All right, I have also this blue cheese. Okay, well, that was just Tom calling me to let me know there are tornadoes headed this way, so that's not good news. But um, we'll see. Hopefully they'll blow somewhere else. But So I better get my dinner done and eaten and make sure to batten down the hatches outside. All right, so let me finish my salad here real quick. Um, I still have some of this Follow Your Heart blue cheese that I'm going to put on my salad because I really, really want to get rid of this. I mean, it's good, but I really like the feta much better. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this Gerard's dressing on, but here is my dinner, day 140. So I think that looks good. All right, let me try this. I mean, you know what a salad tastes like, but this was my pea salad. So I figured, why not? That's very good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner before we all blow away. So in the meantime, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. I hope we're here tomorrow do our best. All right. See you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.